Chelsea Smart TV video. In this video, we show what is for ta force table and how you can use it. So, okay, for example, you're making the, some commissioning on your machine, and I don't know, you want to set some output to true state, but somewhere in your code, you use this output, and you don't want to change the PLC code to set this output to true. For example, we have in the code output number 5. Okay, we download it to the PLC. And this output number 5 is true only in the moment of the positive trigger, positive edge of the input number 1. Normally when you use the watch table, you can't set this output to true because the watch table respects the logic of the PLC program. How you can see, it's not true. It's still false because output 5 is true only in the positive in the moment of positive edge of the input number one so for this we can use the force table okay where we copy our output which we want to set to true okay also, when we go to the forcing of the variables and, for example, we force some variable to true and then we, tr uh, we lost the connection with the PLC, the forcing is still active in the PLC. S and when you use the watch table, watch table is active only when are you, when are you connected with the PLC from the PC and you are online. So, okay. When we force this output 5 to true, we don't see it in the PLC program. You, we just see the F sign over the name of the output tag in our PLC. So we don't see normally green coil out under the output 5. So, okay. We are in the forcing table, click on the tag which you want to force, click on the force and click on the force to, not, to 1, to true. How you can see the selected item will be forced to 1, yes. And now this output of the PLC is forced to true without the respecting the logic of the PLC program. How you can see, there is the F over the name of the tag. And also when we go to the output tag table, here we can see in the output 5 monitor viable, va value, sorry, we can see the for sign and the IO belonging to address 0 0.4 will be forced with the value true. So now, our output is forced on the PLC output card or the PLC outputs. In the program we don't see it, but when you look on the output card, for example, where is output number 4, there you can see the green light near to output. This means the output is in the true state. Also, when we go to the diagnostic, we can see the PLC is also in the maintenance mode. This means the force table is activated. Also in the diagnostic buffer, we can see force job is active. So don't forget, when you're done with the forcing of the variables on your PLC, of the output inputs on, on your PLC, you just go back to the force table, we click back force to the false state of the output, <coughs> but we still see the F 
near to our output in the PLC program. So we want to want to go back to the force table and don't forget click on the stop forcing of the selected addresses. And now we we deactivate it, we deactivate the forcing on the our PLC. So now the forcing is not active and when we go back to the diagnostic we can see maintenance is for now no active and PLC is in the normal run state. So this is the short example how you can use the force table for the commissioning of your machine for example where I don't know you for example want for example want to set some output to true without respecting PLC code for example when you commission some pneumatic valve and you want to activate to this valve without using the PLC code so thank you for watching this video and goodbye.